<laughs> hey guys, how's it going? Mr. Mitchell here. In this video, I'm going to give you an overview of the higher physics course in terms of both assessment and the topics involved in the course. So let's get into it. So if we have a look at this table here, we can see that there are two elements involved uh, in the assessment of the higher course. So you've got the final exam, the question paper, and the assignment, just like in National 5. The only difference here is the number of marks available and also the fact that the question paper for the higher course is split into two papers. So you actually go in and set your multiple choice first and you get 45 minutes to do that and that's 25 marks. And then you set a 130 mark longer paper which takes two hours and 15 minutes. Um, you've also got your assignment which is worth 20 marks and that is allowed, you're allowed eight hours for that of which two hours are used for the final write up. Okay, so that would be about six hours of prep with a two hour write up. Looking at that in a bit more detail, we can see that the question paper has a total of 155 marks and contributes 80% of the overall marks for external assessment. So that means your assignment uh, accounts for 20%. So your section one, um, that has 25 marks and we say that this is not scaled. Section two, on the other hand, this uh, is scaled and you'll see that it's composed of um, restricted and extended response questions. So that is just your longer questions um, with open-ended questions as well. So that totals 135 marks, but it's scaled down to 95 marks. And what this means is that each mark for multiple choice is, is actually worth more than each mark for the longer paper. Although there are a lot more of the marks in the longer paper. Um, the assignment has 20 marks and this is actually scaled up to 30 marks. So this contributes 20% of the overall marks and because it's scaled up, this means that each mark for the assignment is actually worth more than one mark. So as we said earlier, this is composed of the research stage and the report stage and you'll have done this at NAT5 as well. So the research stage will be your six hours of preparing for the assignment and then your report stage, that is your two hour write up. Not that many pupils need two hours to do the write up. Um, during the research stage, you carry out an experiment as part of a small group and research the relevant topic. So just like in National 5, and you decide that topic with your teacher. The report stage involves writing up a scientific report based on your research and experiment within two hours. So if you've done National 5, you should be um, used to that kind of structure there. The last thing to mention is the topics involved in the higher course. So we split them into three parts. So we've got our dynamic universe, electricity and particles and waves. Electricity is thought to be a, a half unit, um, which is supposed to line up with the half unit of the assignment. Although the, the time taken to do the electricity topic can be a bit more than what it should, uh, what it should take half a topic to do. So our dynamic universe, if we just look at a breakdown of those topics for now. So as you can see, our dynamic universe is split into one, two, three, four, five, six uh, subtopics. You've got electricity is split into five subtopics and then particles and waves is split into eight subtopics. So just looking at these briefly, you've got uh, motion equations and graphs for ODU. You've got forces, energy and power, collisions, explosions and impulse. So we tend to group these three into ODU part one. Uh, gravitation, special relativity and expanding universe. These are your more kind of space-like topics and we tend to group these together into ODU part two. Electricity, your half unit there, that is uh, just five parts. We don't split them up and you'll see that um, there's some things there that you'll recognize from National 5, which are current potential difference, power and resistance. You did a wee bit on DC versus AC um, in National 5 as well. Uh, capacitors, you would have been introduced to those at National 5, but we go into a lot more detail there as well. Um, particles and waves, that's your last, uh, your last big topic, and that's comprised of eight parts. So we've got uh, forces and charged particles, the standard model, nuclear reactions, inverse square law, and wave particle duality. We tend to group those five things together into um, the sort of particle part. And then you've got interference, spectra, and refraction of light. That would be your waves stuff there. So that's all from me, folks. I hope you found this video useful. Uh, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care. Whoa!